Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Heidi and I'm so excited to have you with me today for another daily discovery with FC Mod. Today I'm excited to introduce you to one pretty special animal from Fort Collins. Before we meet her though, I need you all to put on your time traveling caps because today we're going way back to 1934. That's almost 90 years ago. Back then, Fort Collins looked a little different. Something like this. Or this. Or this. A lot of people even lived around Fort Collins in 1934. They grew crops on their farms and raised livestock like sheep. There might have even still been a farm where your neighborhood is today. Even though life looked a little different, one thing was the same. Fort Collins still had a lot of trains. How many of you have ever seen a train roll through town or heard one, maybe in the middle of the night? I know that I certainly have. Trains were so important to Fort Collins in 1934. They connected us to the rest of Colorado and the whole country long before we had interstates like I-25. They took farmers' crops and they brought important people to town, like friends or family here to come visit you. A lot of different types of people worked on the railroads, but today I want to introduce you to one very special person that's important for today's story. Do you see the man in the middle of that picture? His name is Chris DeMuth, and he is a brakeman. A brakeman does a lot of important jobs on the railroad. He makes sure that train cars are connected correctly, and maybe most importantly, it's his job to apply the brakes when the train needs to stop. One day in 1934, Chris was on a trip out to eastern Colorado. On the way back, the train stopped in Timnath. Today, Timnath is just on the other side of I-25 from us. But back then, it was a little bit more of a journey. While the train was stopped in Timnath, Chris and some of his railroad buddies noticed something outside of the blacksmith shop. When they looked closer, they saw it was a little, dirty, hungry, scrawny dog. No one was taking care of her. No one wanted her, but... Chris and his railroad buddies kind of liked her, so they convinced her to climb aboard the train and ride back with them to Fort Collins. They ended up adopting her, and they named her Annie. Annie the Railroad Dog. Pretty soon, everybody in Fort Collins knew Annie. She lived here at the Colorado and Sutherland Passenger Train Depot. That's where people coming to Fort Collins would get off the trains. She had a bed in the basement of the train depot, and the railroad men fed her scraps of food. She also had an important job. It was her job to greet everyone arriving at the train station. There are even stories that say people coming home to Fort Collins would hug Annie before they hugged their own family. The years went by. 1934, 1935... 1936, 1937, 38, 39, 1940, 1941. Suddenly, the United States was in the middle of the Second World War. Annie said goodbye to all of the soldiers leaving from Fort Collins. What do you think? Was she going to be here to welcome them home? Let's find out. 19. 42, 43, 44, 45. The war is over. And guess what? Annie was still here. She welcomed all those soldiers home. There's even a story that says she licked the tears off their cheeks. I don't know if that one's true, but it sounds like something a nice dog like Annie might have done. By now, Annie was getting a little old, and so was her friend Chris. He retired from the railroad, and together, he and Annie would sometimes take walks around town. She liked to visit people. 
Here's a picture of Chris and Annie. It's the only picture we have of Annie the railroad dog. Looks like she's having a good time with her friend Chris. It might be the only picture we have, but we know Annie was real. Lots of people tell stories about her. Like I said, she liked to visit people. Maybe she visited these folks. Or these kids here at the library. Or maybe she visited the people staying at the fancy northern hotel. The years went by and Annie kept on being Fort Collins' dog. 1946, 1947, 1948. By now, Annie was an old dog. She was at least 14 years old, which is 98 in dog years. And a dog can't live forever. One day, the railroad men found that Annie had died in her sleep. They knew she loved trains so much that they buried her next to the train station. They even made a little gravestone that said, To Annie, our dog. You can't see the train station anymore. It was torn down in the 1950s, but you can still see Annie's little grave. It's an old town near the downtown transit center. And you can wave hello to Annie's statue. It sits outside of the Old Town Library. And you can do one more thing. You can keep Annie's spirit alive by showing kindness and friendliness to people all across Fort Collins. Thank you for joining me and learning about the story of Annie the Railroad Dog today. She is one of my favorite Fort Collins animals. But I'd like to hear about your favorite animals here in Fort Collins. Go check out the activity based on the story on our website, and be sure to tag us. And if you'd like to learn more about the fun activities we have here at the Fort Collins Museum, or virtually that you can do from your home, check out our website, www.fcmod.org forward slash programs. See you next time.